Uh, welcome to another video and another video comparison, low light nighttime video comparison between the Mate 60 Pro that I'm using here right now and a few other phones that I have here in my pocket. This is the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, then I have a Vivo X90 Pro Plus and then last but not least somewhere I have also the Xperia 1 Mark 5. So I think we start off with the Mate 60 Pro. By the way, I'm using the internal mics. It's pretty quiet here because it's night time. Standing under the lights here right now and let's walk into the dark to see how it handles this also with the lights in the background. And then of course internal microphones. How good are they picking up my voice? And now I'm standing in the dark. How's my face looking? So the the light is illuminating my face a little bit and how's the background looking like? Do we have a lot of noise? How was the stabilization? Especially when I'm walking around, is the stabilization a little bit bumpy still? You can see some wavery shit that uh, happens with uh, nighttime videos. And I'm walking towards the light and I'm understanding under the light. How is my face illuminated? Do we have lots and lots of shadows here? How does it look like? And now let's take a look to another and uh, think we check this out. Now I'm using the Vivo X90 Pro Plus one inch size sensor. How does this cope with the darkness here? How good is the microphone on this one? Standing almost under the lamp here a little bit now walking towards the dark areas. How does it handle the backlight? How good is stabilization here on the Vivo X90 Pro Plus? And especially when I'm going into the dark, how is the exposure now? Uh, on my face, let's go like this, so the light is illuminating my face a little bit. How's the background? How's the noise? One inch type sensor. So what do you think about the Vivo X90 Pro Plus and especially the stabilization as well? Again, a little test here, walking towards the lamp and the light and underneath here directly is my shadow, is my face in shadow. How does it look like? Vivo X90 Pro Plus, 4K30 by the way. All my tests here done in 4K 30 because 60 frames per second in this low light doesn't make any sense. And now I'm using the Xiaomi 13 Ultra and this has something very special. It has 4K night video mode at 24 frames per second. So it's illuminating the whole scene a little bit more. I'm standing like almost right under the lamp here, the light and uh, walking towards the darkness right now. Listen to the microphones. How good are the microphones here? I think I have the uh, suppression of uh, wind noises or noise filter turned on right now. Otherwise, uh, yeah, you will probably hear me a bit more artificial. Otherwise not. And yeah, putting myself like the light shining on my face. How does it look like? How good is the background? How good is the stabilization? This one is a pretty night mode that we have here on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. So whenever the phone has a special night mode, I'm using it because this is probably the best that you can get with this smartphone. So what do you think about the Xiaomi 13 Ultra here standing right directly under the light? How's my face illuminated? Is it in the dark or not? And now I'm recording with the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V with the voice pattern pickup. So it's using the rear microphone, the voice optimized microphone. So in theory, you should get the best microphone quality here. How is the image quality here of this one? I'm using the Video Pro app. I'm using S Cinetone and I'm using 4K 24 frames per second. We don't have a dedicated night video mode, but we can set up 24 frames per second. And if you have the possibility to set it up, why not doing it? How's my face exposed? Is it too dark, especially with the light in the background? How does it look like? How is the stabilization here? And what if I'm turning completely in the dark here? How good is it handling the exposure? Noise in the background as well. Is it any good? Um, yeah, you tell me in the comments. How's stabilization here? I have high quality stabilization enabled in the Video Pro app. What do you think about the Xperia 1 Mark V? I'm a bit wobbly because this is like such a long 21 by 9 aspect phone. So yeah, if I'm holding it and near the shutter button, you get a little bit of like wobbly. So yeah, keep that in mind. Otherwise, how is the exposure now? Directly under the light. So what do you think about this comparison? Of course, I could bring many other phones out there, but my pockets are just like, um, they have only like one, two, three, four pockets. So each pocket, one phone should be enough. Uh, which one is your winner? Which one is your favorite? Write it down in the comment section. How good is the Huawei Mate 60 Pro? Write it down there as well. Did you expect better? Is it worse? Write it down there. And which one is overall the winner in this nighttime situation? Write it down there as well. If you have some suggestions what to test out with all the camera smartphones as well, write it down there as well. And that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and until the next time.